Hi guys, it's Wade McMaster here from creatorimpact.com. In today's video, I'm gonna show you in Photoshop how to create an image for your YouTube video end screen. This means you can actually uh, create an end screen at the end of your video, and this image is gonna be part of the video that sits behind the end screen and allows you to put things like your logo, any information, and have it not clash with the elements on the end screen. So I'm gonna jump on the computer, we're going to basically run through how this works and um, show you how to make this happen. All right, let's get started. Okay, so just to make sure we get our end screens correctly, I just wanna show you something here on YouTube. First thing we're gonna do, we're on YouTube, we're gonna head up to this top right corner and go to a YouTube studio. Then we're gonna to go to our content here and we're gonna find a video. And then we're gonna get down the right here to end screen. Now end screen hasn't been set up for this video yet. You see, this is the one I usually use as an import from the last video. Uh, but you'll also find these other ones that come, they're just sort of standard uh, templates that YouTube offers. Now what you wanna do is you can either come up with your own uh, custom sort of layout, which you don't need to worry about coming here if you're gonna do that. But let's say we want to work with, uh, we'll say this one here. Let's say we wanna work with this here for our video. So what I'm actually gonna do is I can click it and you can see we've already got a layout here. But what I wanna do is I actually wanna just head out for a sec, head back in. And we're gonna use this one. So I'm actually going to hit hold print screen. I'm gonna hit print screen here. And what print screen does by pressing print screen on my keyboard, I take a screenshot of YouTube. And then I'm gonna head over into Photoshop, create a new document. And I want it to be 1920 by 1080 because that's gonna be the size of the image we're working on. That's a, a good size for sort of video if that's a resolution you're shooting in. I hit edit and paste and that print screen has basically landed. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get this rectangular marquee tool. So I'm going up the top here, and you'll see it could be a circle or one of these. But I want the rectangular marquee tool, and I'm going to select this here. And I'm going to go, I'm just gonna go copy, and then edit, paste, so copy and paste, and delete the layer behind it. So we have this little preview here. Now I'm gonna to go to edit and uh, free transform to bring this up into place here. And then I'm simply gonna draw a box around here with my rectangular marquee. I then click and hold, select my elliptical marquee tool. I'm gonna to hold down shift. So you see a little plus symbol pop up next to the cursor select that circle and I'm going to just mask by going down here, I've got the layer selected, click in the square with the circle on it to mask that layer. And what that essentially does is creates an object that I can turn on or off to show where those objects are. Now, before I go any further with this, I've actually got templates already existing for the, the basics. I'll just open one of these up. I've created JPEGs you can use and just simply overlay or PSDs. These are all gonna be available in the description below. I do want to show you how you can set this up though. So that way, if you really want to, you can set it up yourself. But we're going to continue on with our, basically our lats. We're going to go with the one video, one subscribe. And this is the template that I have available for download. PSD file, and I can select the box down here. I can move it around if I decide I want it to go somewhere else. And I've got the circle here as well. So this is going to be where our video goes, and this is going to be where our subscribe area goes. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to say, pop my logo in here. It's gonna pause for a second. It's gonna be pretty free flowing because what you do here is essentially up to you how you wanna lay it out. But we're just gonna start with a very basic design. I'm gonna to go to file and place embedded. And I'm going to head here. I'm going to add in my logo. So we'll go right rectangle. So I've got my logo at the top here. I'm just gonna pop that there. What you do, how you design it is entirely up to you. We're also gonna put in a few little call to actions here. So we're gonna say something like, please subscribe. And at the moment that text is white. So I'm using the text tool for this here. I'm hitting Control T to go edit, free transform. I'm gonna pop this please subscribe bit here. And I'm gonna draw a real basic sort of arrow just with my uh, 
what we call here the uh, I can't remember what it's called polygon lasso tool. I use it, don't know the name of it quite often, but here we go here, I'm gonna create a little arrow, and we're just gonna get this done pretty basically. Create a new layer, I'll make that white, the white arrow saying please subscribe, and then we'll also go text tool. Check out this video. I'm gonna pop that all in place. So this is our design. It's not great. Uh, maybe we'll pop a texture in the background as well. So I've just gone to pixels and I've found this brick wall image. I'm gonna right click and copy image. Move that back off. And in my layers here, I'm gonna go just above the background here and I'm gonna paste that in place. I'm just gonna to go to image, adjustments, hue saturation, I'm just gonna pop the lightness down so it's almost black. Now, you can go ahead from here. What we need to do is turn off the circle and the square because we don't actually want them on the video. So I'm gonna turn that off and turn that off. If you want to, you can go ahead and save a JPEG or a PNG from here and move on. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually get this here and I'm going to just create a little selection here and I'm going to click on this brick layer, I'm gonna cut. So I'm gonna hit delete to cut out that bit there. And this black layer, I'm gonna knock it down to about 60, we'll say 77% opacity. And just to be a little fancy, we'll do it again over here. Go up here, delete that section. And we have these semi-transparent sections here. Now the reason I want to do this is because it shows you what's possible if you do want to actually add some footage in behind something, you can also do that. So we've got our design here. We've got our circle and our square. We can see where the video is going to end up. If we decide to, we can actually increase the size of that video afterwards, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to go to File. Obviously, I want to save this as a PSD. Um, I don't want to save over the PSD I just opened, so I'll actually go back and fix that. <laughs> but we save, we go save as, save our PSD, and then we go to, to export, save for web, and we're gonna choose PNG. And now we just have PNG 24, we make sure we have the transparency ticked, and we save that image. And now when you create your YouTube video, all you need to do uh, in your video editor before you upload is to import this PNG and overlay it over your footage and you should have a semi-transparent section. So we're going to cut ahead and just sort of see what that looks like. Okay, so I've got some footage here with a little bit of movement and uh, I've overlaid our image over the top. And when I actually hit play, you'll see there's a bit of a semi-transparency with the movement happening underneath. So that's one of the cool things you can do with a PNG is actually have some video footage underneath and have like a bit of an overlay to create a nice effect. So what we're gonna do now, we're going to export this video, jump onto YouTube, and we'll show you how it looks with the end screen applied. Okay, so I have the video inserted, and at the moment you can see we have our end screen options. And if I cut forward a bit, you'll see our video is placed behind the end screen. And this is a layout we based our design off of. So I've insert that. You can see it overlays nicely on our design. And we can even click and resize this if we need to quite easily. Now, if we preview that, you'll see everything lines up. Although that box is a bit bigger because we resized it. But you can see it all basically works the way we intended to. And uh, because we have the freedom to basically go in, fix things up and move them around, we can basically tailor that effect to fit our template if it's not quite right. So uh, that's basically it. That's the video uh, I'm showing you how to do that today. Um, when you're done, hit save. But uh, if you like the video, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, if you want to see more like this, consider subscribing. It all helps to support the channel and keep these things coming for free for you guys. So uh, yeah, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.